How's it going? Um, today I'm gonna talk with you that are trying to play solo instruments in Brazilian music. Even if you are playing uh, bass, I he I've heard some pieces uh, of bass, just bass to play Brazilian music and they sound very good. Um, there are some some interesting bassists playing Brazilian music in solo bass and but uh, today I'm gonna talk about the different textures and my thinking to use them in the different Brazilian styles I don't know if I'm gonna show in, in a lot of styles but uh, I'm gonna show you the power of the different textures and some concept that I think to, to create a balance between this, um, these textures. Uh, this is the answer of a student of mine that uh, in a lot of different classes he asked me what do you use to play uh, bossa nova? Do you use, do you use uh, uh, some chords in the middle uh, extension of, of the piano, middle range of the piano, or do you play with uh, uh, a lot of chords? And, and my answer always was I, I try to use everything. I try to mixture the, the different textures. And how do I think to do this? Um, I think the piano or any solo instrument, if you're playing, uh, playing the guitar, or if you are trying to, uh, I've heard uh, uh, some days before, uh, baritone playing uh, solo piece, uh, uh, or you're playing the vibraphone or other solo instrument, accordion. Uh, we have to think in a, a, a reduction of a band or of orchestra. And there are different uh, uh, behaviors you have to, to understand that work in each range of, the, of your instrument. For the bass range you have your one behavior, for the uh, middle low part other for the middle another for the the high so uh, to create the sensation of a solo piece you're gonna uh, yeah, you're gonna uh, play with the mind of your audience because you're gonna uh, create some image and this image can be very complete if you work well the different textures and I'm gonna talk about some some of them uh, applied some different styles if we have time um, the first of them uh, for example I'm gonna I think in a bossa nova uh, let me choose one very simple. If you are beginning to play Brazilian music, this is simple to memorize, simple to play. It's called Photograph. It's by Antonio Carlos Jobim. Um, and let me play the melody to you know. All right. I'm, my pedal is missing today. Uh,
photograph, right? You can find that the songbooks, Jobin songbooks, or the Cancionero, that it's a good reference of Jobin's music. And now I've uh, worked on, on the texture that I'm using the chords uh, in the middle and low range of the piano. And I can show you here some harmonic richness. Look uh, here, the, the different voicings. this possibility of doing chords uh, with a, a here in Brazil we say a fat song because they they, they are strong uh, they, they are uh, strong voicings but when we do some texture we lose something we are always losing something and this is my this is my thinking. We are working in in creating this complete ima image in the audience. Uh, so you have to understand what you are missing in some texture to complete sometimes with the missing parts. And this kind of texture, for example. Uh, you can have a, a rich chord, but for example, your bass is not free enough. The bass line is very simple. Even oh. Bossa Nova has simple bass lines. Uh, you are not. Sorry, just let me. Ah, had some problem here. Everything alright with you? Nice. Thanks for continuing watching. Um, you are, for example, losing a lot, like I said, you're losing uh, the possibility to create more, uh, to be more free with the, your bass lines. So, for example, if you use one hand just to see, to, to have the bass, Let's go, let's continue. Uh, when you have just one hand to see to, to do the bass lines, you can create more rich lines. more free to create more interesting lines on the bass part but when I do this I lose some uh, my capability of doing some richer harmonies they can sound more simple because I'm not using both hands to create this uh, this stronger harmony and uh, Talking more about uh, some other possibility, uh, we also have a texture that mixture a simple harmony with 
with the bass line. I'm sorry because today I'm, 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 my pedal is not here. So I'm mixing. I'm using these two fingers, the the last fingers to to make a bass line, and using you uh, this part of the hand to do the third and the seventh. Sometimes I play I play two two keys at the same time to 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 give more richness to the chord. And what what does happen when I use this texture? I can explore more of my right hand. This is good to improvise. This create me the possibility of doing uh, showing uh, the harmony, this uh, a simple part of the harmony with a bass line. What does this uh, uh, this texture is is losing? What where do I lose? My bass is not so uh, low. It's very different from playing. Line, I'm not losing the bass line. I can create some bass line. It's more uh, high. It's higher, and my harmony sounds simple. But what do I again gain here? Again, the possibility of improvising. harmony I lose a little on the bass and what else do we have uh, there are also the, um, some interesting chords that uh, Hermeto Pascual and some musicians of him like Andrea Marx use that are the reduced chords it's more simple but it, the, the, this harmony, but it shows interesting intervals of the chords. For example, for example, the sound is more compact. So, for uh, when, for example, you are playing in a in a more you want less less sound, but with some dissonance of the chord. Chords you can 
takes pick some uh, interesting notes of the chords and try to join and create some dissonance between them. This is a uh, modern option to to use. And another uh, way it's to make voicings with the with both hands. You can put the beat of bossa nova here. interesting bit of uh, imitating the guitar of Jean Gilberto here and I have the freedom of harmony I'm losing on the bass but I have more more richer chords than that texture that I, I was using just the first notes of the chord uh, I'm, I'm not playing the root of the chord but I, I can play more tension for example the C major 7 with 13th one but it's the last I think when I use it's th this texture that I think uh, that João Donato that it's a great reference of the Brazilian piano uh, the, the, his name his surname is D-O-N-A-T-O -O, Donato he uses uh, some uh, some card without the root here on this hand and here he's, he uses the melody there is some triad here and a double and a double voice uh, the, the melodies is being doubled on, in, on the octave here so uh, this uh, has a very harmonic uh, richness richness harmonic richness you can un, uh, you can use the low notes to to give some help. but you are losing the bass parts you don't have low notes you don't have the roots of the, the chords and even the bass you are losing on that side but what is interesting about that that you cr can create different sensations of the song you are playing you are creating uh, uh, some illusion auditive illusion in your uh, audience because of the different textures and the different ranges you are playing um, when you watch an orchestra playing you're gonna uh, recognize these different textures sometimes the violins are playing 
in a higher register and sometimes you have the tubas and the trombones playing on the lower part and sometimes they are all playing together and we can create the sensation even uh, not being capable of playing everything at the same time but if you change the different textures you're gonna uh, you're gonna like I said in the at the beginning of the live you're gonna create the sensation on your audience so uh, today I'm, I'm, I'm missing my my pedal because I I, I took uh, I took the, it to, to, to play in a, in a gig and uh, I'm sorry for this for this mistake uh, but let me let me show you uh, the mixture of this different uh, textures. different textures to create your own improvise.
trying to create uh, a sensation of don't uh, breaking the sound I uh, it's interesting to you to train uh, the different tracks texture for example play just the Have you noticed the, the different textures uh, and this uh, uh, and this objective of not broke, breaking the sound? Uh, this can create a, a very rich uh, sensation of the music being played in no range of your, your instrument. If you play, for example, the acoustic guitar, you can use the low strings to do sometimes bass line you can sometimes when you do the bass line uh, uh, probably you are going to lose a little of harmony but sometimes you can play uh, just with the with the chords with a simple ba bass line and or you can play just the, the chord melody to create this uh, richer sound of harmony. You are dedicating, you are giving all your attention to the harmony. So uh, that's the way I try to play the different Brazilian styles and and make this sen uh, the sensation of completeness for who is hearing. I've seen a lot of pianists just playing in just one texture and this uh, this makes the sound be uh, pre previsible predictable I'm sorry 
it's predictable and uh, and boring sometimes because you know all the textures the sounds that we're gonna happen with the music the changing textures can can create uh, this this different sensations on the sound the gives the audience so the sensation that you are playing freely also so this uh, is uh, I've told you that uh, I, I I didn't know that if I was capable of doing showing different styles here because uh, just one style takes so many notes so let's make a little review I, I think it would be interesting for example uh, the one f f uh, texture I used it was first was the both hands to to get one interesting and and fat like I said voicing what do I gain? I gain a lot of harmonic richness what do I lose? I don't have so many possibilities with the bass I don't uh, have some higher extension and I don't have also the possibility to do uh, quicker harmonies uh, quicker melodies I don't I can't fa go fast in the melodies because my my hands is, are dedicated to to do this lower sounds all right the second texture I've told you about was um, after that I don't I don't remember the order but let me I tell you if I used my left hand to play the melody with the harmonization and my left hand with the to play just the bass uh, here I lose a little of harmony this fatness I, I, I'm gonna lose a little but I'm gonna gain uh, the sensations on the bass this movements on the bass that we're gonna create some interesting lines all right and so uh, uh, so I, I'm having melodies in, in the right hand in the, and the left hand also. All right, there was that texture that I, I showed you that I'm using uh, my one my left hand just uh, to in this two fingers play the bass the a bass line and these two fingers to play the chord. And what does this happen? I gain uh, because I'm showing two elements at the same time and I have freedom in my right hand. And what do I lose? My bass won't be so low. It's gonna lose uh, the, I, I think, I don't know if, the, if this is the right word, word to say in English, but it's weight. We're gonna have a lighter sound of because the basis is weaker all right but we have harmony harmony and mal, uh, and bass line together and your harmony also won't be so rich you can create more richer melodies improvising and do interesting stuff with your le with your right hand all right you can uh, the next texture i've told you about was to play just the uh, the chords without the root but with some tensions and com uh, complete with the other hand what are you going to to gain you're gonna gain some harmonic richness also what and that's interesting voicings but you're gonna lose uh, the bass lines you're gonna lose the root sensation uh, all right in all of them you gain once one thing but you lose another and that's it's a very interesting thing it's not a bad thing to lose something all right because uh if you are showing everything all the time the ear is gonna is gonna be tired yeah like i said this is gonna be predictable and we don't want to do this with your our audience all right we we want to show new new things interesting things so then with this texture texture without the root you're gonna gain some 
you have the swing also. You're gonna, you're gonna have also swing, the swing of the middle part of the, the harmonic part that uh, is the higher part of the imitating the higher part of the guitar all right and at last you're gonna uh, we can use that texture that I told about Jean Donato that I use one higher part here and one lower chord here this uh, has the melody with double doubling to get some uh, strength the swing because it's interesting to play together with the left uh, the, the left is gonna re reinforce the, the right hand but you have some richer uh, uh, harmony and some uh, higher register uh, I think a lot of musicians uh, lose the opportunity or to play in the high register and sometimes also they don't play well, they don't have good voicings to play in their higher register. And for pianists that's very important to think the different voicings uh, associated, associated with diff different, uh, the different ranges of the piano. Uh, a chord that works well on the second octave won't, won't work well in the third octave and and uh, etc. All right. So uh, for you piano players or different players that have with players that have uh, instruments with uh, uh, large extensions, explore the different <clears throat> voicings on it. All right. And this is the same thing for you that have a melodic instrument. You can create the sensation of uh, of the different uh, textures but melodically you can uh, you can for example play a, a music with a groove uh, for example partido alto groove creating the different textures one bass line of partido alto sorry and i am putting a melody together I put one arpeggio to show also the harmony so you can uh, and, and even in, in instruments that just play one note uh, at a time you're going to you can create some sensation all right I think it's gonna work well for rhythmic uh, music but it's possible also uh, I have heard some that is a, a interesting do that I can recommend you to hear. It's Vanessa Moreno uh, and Fi Marostica. And Vanessa is a, it, a singer, and Fi uh, it's a bassist, and he play uh, he plays the the, the the bass in a very complete way. 
he thinks in different textures he he makes the the instrument when you watch uh their concert uh you're gonna you're gonna see uh, you won't um, miss anything because he's showing everything in different times but he's showing everything you realize that he knows all the different layers that I've told in another lives of the styles he is playing that is very 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 interesting so I I hope ah one one interesting thing also that I could that I could know how to study this uh, my recommendation to study the different textures is to play one by one. Study the song just playing in one tex texture and correct the, the mistakes and play good in one texture. After that, try to play in another and another. And after that, you have some texture, different textures, try to mixture because some of them it will sound better than another. Sometimes it's very important to have the harmony is shown because you have a, that beautiful chord and sometimes for example you have a fast melody and it's interesting to show it uh, uh, show in a good way so you use some texture that uh, uh, put the focus on the, the on the melody uh, so I think uh, this is a very interesting class. I, I, I love to give this class because when I'm teaching I'm also always learning because I I always review my I always review my um, my different textures in in different themes. So it's very I, I like very much to give this class. If you wanna know more about to see more styles to uh, to, to, to know how to apply just write on the comments all right uh, this will be very important for you and for me uh, that I'm preparing this classes for you uh, to have some feedback about what are you you are thinking about the classes what you want to hear more will be very uh, helpful to me to create a more interesting um, a more interesting channel all right so uh, don't lose the, the opportunity of uh, watching the the my, for f writing the comments for me all right um, thanks for watching and very, very happy to do happy to do this channel for you I'm seeing that uh, I'm finding interesting people all over the world that are interested in Brazilian music and it's a, a, a pleasure to me to help you I hope someday I can know you personally and play with you together with you in some travels in another uh, moment of the world all right that's this is a difficult moment to travel uh, I hope you have enjoyed I'm here every day talking about Brazilian music and I hope you have enjoyed. Alright, I'm Luciano Ruas and this is the Brazilian Accent Improvisation Channel. Bye bye.